Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the celebration of the Eucharist at Holy Name of Jesus Catholic Church in Wausau. I am the pastor, Father Bob Thorne. We also especially like to welcome the homebound and uh, those who are in the hospital as we remember you in our prayers today. Begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you. We glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside, Remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant, and overlook faults. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven be, may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him, owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What does it mean to forgive 70 times 7 times? 7 times 70. You know, it's 490. So what happens on the 491st time? Do you then decide I don't have to forgive anymore? You know, forgiving... Forgiveness is really about seeing into the heart of the other and recognizing the goodness that is there and forgiving because the person is another self like yourself who is a sinner. And Jesus makes a kind of exaggeration in this uh, parable we have today. And exaggeration is used to make a point. You know, the, the first man owed his master the equivalent of probably, let's say, $10,000. And uh, he just says, be patient with me and I will pay you back. Well, the master is compassion on him and decides, I'll forgive you the whole loan. And then he goes and finds a fellow servant who owes him a mere maybe $15. And he gets angry with him and chokes him and throttles him. And then he decides he's going to throw him in prison because he won't pay him back 
even though he says the same words. Be patient with me and I will, I will pay you back. So his fellow servants go to the master and report what had happened. You know, I often wonder, you know, what, what would happen if the, uh, the guy, let's say the servant had decided, well, okay, I'll forgive you the debt, but instead goes out and badmouths his friend, if this other servant to everybody else. Has he really forgiven him from his heart? No, he's harboring vengeance. He's harboring hatred in his heart. You know, how often do we do that in our own lives? Or, you know, maybe for, not for, think we have forgiven somebody, but, you know, I'm just forgiving because my religion says I have to, but I'm never going to forget what you did. You know, harboring those types of things in our hearts is not healthy, first of all. And second, it's not what the Lord wants us to do. It puts us in a prison, like that second servant. We're put in a prison. We are suffering for our lack of forgiveness. It actually brings sickness, as Sirach tells us. We get sickness, we get disease, because we don't forgive one another. And so he says, the master finds out about what has happened. He turns him over to the torturers. And I, and I was thinking, how, how, how come he turns him over to the torturers? How is he going to pay back his debt if he's going to the torturers? And I thought, maybe this is an example of purgatory. Maybe this is what happens if we die with unforgiveness in our hearts. And we have to go through the suffering of purgatory until we're cleansed of our unforgiveness. How many people do I run into or have I run into uh, in the hospital who still harbor unforgiveness? don't want a certain person to come to the room because they're still angry with them or, or whatever it might be. You no, know, we don't want to go to our deathbed with unforgiveness in our hearts. God forbid we should do that. We should be forgiving from the bottom of our hearts as Jesus teaches us. And so ask the Lord to help you bring to mind anybody whom you're not forgiven, that you might forgive from the fullness of your heart, from all your being, and thus you might be set free and it might enjoy the good health and love and life that comes from the Lord. Please stand for our creed. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and now by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified by the conscious Pilate, he suffered and death and was buried. And it was again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophecies. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Beloved, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for all in need. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit, give it time. May be accepted by you, O Lord, our sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the, the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be, be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into not temptation, temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. My brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Shall be healed. Take and eat this bread, take and drink this cup, this is my body and my blood. When you eat this bread, when you drink this cup, you live in me and I in you. This is the bread. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possessions of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Thank you for tuning in the Sunday Mass. Thank you for being with us as we celebrate the Mass each week, especially for the sick and the homebound. We ask you that if it is within your power to contribute to financially to these Masses, that you do so, and we would certainly appreciate it. Be assured of our thoughts and our prayers for you and your families. God be with you. Mayo Clinic Specialty Care. One of America's top neonatologists and the NICU team improve the odds for at-risk newborns. Technology brings specialists to hospital rooms at the speed of light. Advanced technology makes incredible surgical precision possible. It's here in La Crosse. Mayo Clinic Health System.